Okay, so screw. <laughs> so I just quickly had to speak to her. Um, I'm so unbelievably just so bored. Mm. I'm binge watching uh, 90 Day Fiance. And the couple that I'm watching now, the guy is American and Caucasian and the girl is from South Africa and uh, mixed race, colored. And I don't get the show, I really don't. Um, because it's just, the premise makes no sense to me. Um, how do you get engaged? These two are engaged. They're on, they are from two different continents. She has very, a uh, thick South African accent, like me. I just tend to be a little more British, no, I'm kidding. And uh, Americans tend to be very brash and honest and vocal and good grief, these people are huggers. Um, but I mean, this is, I've been in the situation before where I have dated outside of my race. Okay, and this is another thing. They wow, everyone is just a hugger. Stop hugging. Oh, this is before Corona. <laughs> they don't know that they're engaged, the family. And I am here for this drama. I enjoy any drama that isn't mine. My life, I'm glad my life is drama free, but God, the drama made my life exciting. There are eight people in this house. Um, I actually have no idea what their names are. I think that the guy is Br Brian. Daisy, that's such an unladylike way to sit. I can't show that on on the, this is a family friendly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna put on my specs because I had my contact lenses in uh, yesterday and the day before and you gotta take a break. Guys, I am having a good hair day. Let us just be high five, thank you so much. Um, Okay, okay, there's there's someone else there's someone else that is also not Caucasian. They're asking the real questions and women we're not stupid. So I think the women know that this is not just a casual visit. Um why am I uncomfortable? This isn't my family situation. Um The brother asked her to say something African. Who says that to someone? And she spoke, she spoke of the cons. She, I think she said something like, who uh, handed me yalla in this framed om hier te wees in a new land, something like that. And the brother was literally like, say more, say more. And I was just like, okay, dude. Would they do that with someone who was had who speaks Russian? Um, I don't know. I didn't like that. That was sort of inappropriate. Like I've never noticed how thick the accent actually is until a South African is surrounded by like nineteen Americans. Um, this guy's dad apparently doesn't believe in the races, different races getting married. So the dad I doesn't even know about Amy. Her name's Amy. She's from Cape Town. She's 31. Okay, I'm here for the South Africans. There's another guy and they're holding hands and it's very, oh God. I hate when they change from some, okay. Now the premise of this show, fascinating to watch, but it's not something that I would ever agree to. You cannot in three months know someone, get engaged, and then only tell your family about this person. I rely very much on my parents to tell me whether the person that I want to have a life with is a good person. Sorry, I'm just checking if that door was closed. Um, and some of these people, like this guy now, these are new people that I don't know. So this guy has a kid. So his fiance, who's from the Philippines, he's from America, just met his daughter and 
he's going to work now and he's leaving her, the stepmom, with the kid. I'm going to be very honest with you. I will not date a guy who has kids. I think it complicates the marriage and marriage seems pretty complicated already. This guy is engaged and has two roommates. She just came down in her wedding dress. They're not married yet, they're engaged and I always thought it was called a green card but apparently it's called a green card but it's also called a K-1 visa and I, you have to get married within 90 days or the person who is the foreigner has to go back to their country. And a lot of these people, not necessarily this girl, Kaya, I think that's her name, I'm not great with names, I'm not going to remember names of people that I'm not attached to, is now with two of the roommates and her leash and a kid and uh, Kaya is 29 okay so she's only five years younger than me but at 29 now I'm also not really uh, I couldn't be a stepmother at 29 I want kids but I just think not um, Marrying into a situation where there will be a ex-wife and a kid is terrifying. And it's not something that I would welcome into my house because with my condition, I am quite unpredictable and I'm not using that as an excuse. But there are days where I don't feel like talking. And kids, kids don't get that. This is an amazing show. Um, fascinating because a lot of these people are gold diggers. But I can't blame them because the people, and it's the Americans that promise these girls. Um, the one that I'm thinking of uh is Afisa and she's from Russia and George and I think Afisa is 27 and I think George is 29 and George pretty much convinced Afisa that Anfisa that he was a millionaire and when she got married to him she found out that he was like in debt and it was like about $30,000 in debt and to keep her happy, he was buying her stuff because he had made promises. And the way she reacted, I understood. Because you've been lied to, promises were made, and you don't follow through. I'm fascinated by this show, and I'm at the age of 34. So happy that I'm not in this situation and that I don't have kids yet. Um, these people are like old enough, they're adults, they understand life and they think that this is okay. I'm gonna keep watching. Um, The show is so bizarre. Um, my brother is married to Karen, who is Chinese, and but their situation is different. Orion was there for like a year, and he pursued Karen, and Karen wasn't actually a big Orion fan. <laughs> she admitted to us when she was here last year, and she was, and Orion was like, no, he was like really attracted to Karen and he was not going to give up. Um, the story that he told us was very dramatic. Um, 
and they're happy and they're in love and they have Allison. And I just look at Allison and I just yearn for what they have. But I mean, someday, someday I'll have it. I'll have it. I know that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna keep watching because I am bumming myself out. That's a very fake looking ring. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good Saturday.